Hey everyone, you're listening to The Public Affair with me, Andrew G. I see someone different every episode, but do me a favor, keep it between us. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Andrew G, and welcome to another exciting and luscious episode of The Public Affair. Now, before we continue, I just got to give big ups to Mason out here, right, g- girls? Yeah. G- give give your give your your big ones to Mason. <laughs> Poor guy. I, I have two hot chicks in the building. He just couldn't help himself. You know what I mean? Started stumbling, scared. Okay, we love some Mason. Thank you so much for being here to produce this episode of The Public Affair, and of course, the Rogue Media Network for all you do for me and the show. Of course, to everybody that tunes into The Public Affair each week, you guys mean the world to me. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this episode. You guys already do that, so whatever. Listen, now before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. This episode is brought to us by David Santabanez with Alinea Real Estate. He is the number one sales agent in his office, been remaining the number one sales agent in his office since my last guest has been on here on episode 53. I'm just saying, okay? I'm just, that was like three years ago, right? And he's going to help you buy a home or sell your property. Make sure you follow him on Facebook at David with Alinea or call the number on the screen, the huddling, for all your real estate needs. If you guys need a new home, you don't know where to start, David Santabanez is going to walk you through the whole entire process from start to finish. Thank you so much for you, you, all you do for me and the show, bro. I truly appreciate you. Of course, to JB Auto Detailing with Joseph Blancas, who provides mobile detailing for all of Waco and the surrounding area, promising 100% satisfaction guaranteed, leaving your vehicles looking brand spanking new and fresh because I like to do things in my car that nobody has no business doing. All right, and so he gets everything out, makes it, sp- makes it smell brand new. You know, because sometimes the, the linger smell. Okay, and then pricing and such at jbautodetailing.net. Call the number on the screen to book and follow on Facebook at JB Auto Detailing. Of course, to Arturo y Eva de la Cruz with Arturo's Frame. They do wood framing for houses and all remodeling. That's right. They're also going to assist you with building brand new homes from the ground up because sometimes, ew, you don't want to be moving into somebody's old house, right? You just want your own house the way you want it to look and Arturo's Frame is going to help you do that. Hablan Inglés y Español. Call the number on the screen for a free in-town consultation and follow on Facebook at Arturo's Frame. Thank you guys so much for all you do for me and the public affair. And of course, uh, my boy Juan Morales with Waco Fencing and stuff. Now listen, Juan is building privacy fences and chain link fences. Perfect when you need that extra at-home privacy, right? You're trying to walk around, you know, with the buns out and stuff. You know, you don't want nobody looking and whatever, okay? He also does demolitions, build wood decks and stone patios and gorgeous flower beds. Contact him with the number on the screen for your consultation to Waco Fencing and stuff. Thank you so much for all you do for me and the public affair. I truly, truly appreciate you. All right, guys. Like I said, I've been so excited to have these next girls on the show. The timing had to be right. One of them was here three years ago and told an amazing story about her life that was very, very well receivable. You know, we have one hate in that bitch. We had what, one, <laughs> we had one hate in that well, maybe two, I don't know, I don't remember. And then the other one, I've been trying to get her mans on the show for the last three years, and then she finally decided to come on and do a trial run, okay? No, well, listen, nonetheless. I'll be here for him. I, thank you, yes, okay. And then tell him that it wasn't that bad. Tell him I don't bite. Okay. <laughs> or maybe. Even though you both are really hot together, I will say. Thank you. No, but we're not here for that. Listen, I'm so happy to welcome <laughs> Ashley Ledesma and Ace Zavala here on The yes. Public Affair. How are you ladies Cheers. doing? Good. Good, good. Thank you so much for coming. We've got the mimosas on deck. Yes. Now, um, God, Ashley, first of all, you both are looking stunning today. Thank you. you I didn't do the assignment, okay? I have a hosting <laughs> after this, and I, it's going to be outside, so I was trying to dress warm and in layers, and you guys dressed like you were going to a summer barbecue. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, no, um, Ashley, you were here three years ago on episode 59. Let's yes. just jump right into it, okay? Okay. The episode was very highly well received by a lot of women. They thought you uh, was very empowering and inspiring. Yes. Some people didn't, though. Yeah. Some people thought yes. you, were, you were being fake. Some mm-hmm. people thought that you were just, like, telling a story. What's your response after three years? Uh, well, I mean, the real people really know me. For sure. Of course, haters are going to hate yeah. at the you end of the day. Them. That's it. So, yeah, if, if you don't have haters, <laughs> you're not doing it. it right. So, yeah. I learned that, unfortunately, in this business. <laughs> I hate that, though. I feel like it's annoying. It is. It's it annoying. is annoying. It can, yeah. it can be. Now, now, but you don't strike me as the type to throw hands, though, but I've definitely seen Ace throwing them hands. <laughs> <laughs> Where you see that? I, I, I definitely <laughs> seen it on social media, and I was like, oh, this girl, she should come on the show sometime. <laughs> yeah, she's the fighter. Are you the fighter, I'm, Ace? I'm the protector. I don't, that, uh, I don't that's fight. That's a good way to put it. I'm not, I don't fight for no reason. Yeah, yeah. so you don't I initiate just, fights. I protect mine. That's I think it. that's good, though. I mean, if I have to, I will. Then you will. Okay, mm-hmm. I've not gotten into a fight. I just feel like they always called me. Oh, is that right? Back yes. in the day. Yeah. She's uh, not a fighter no more. Yeah. No, I'm, not I'm anymore. A so you change your ways? Is that since yes. you become an entrepreneur or just growing up? Just growing up, maturing, mm-hmm. realizing a lot of stuff yeah. that ain't, you yeah, know. I got so you. we got to kill them with kindness. Yes. Be easier, successful. Easier said than fucking done. It, it is. It's easier said than done. Okay, I don't want to hear true. that shit. Listen, now, Ace, um, this is your first time on the show. It is. And as I mentioned in the intro, uh, you know, I've been trying to get your husband Ulysses on the show for a long time. Yes. Yes, and so he's being super shy. So, so um, I mean. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel like he just yeah. he just wants to, like you know achieve more he mm-hmm. just wants to show more if he does come on the show yeah 
he wants to, you know, have a lot more to put out there. Okay. So. Well, can I just use the opportunity then to just say, which I think that is a very humbling thing to say, you know, but yeah. I think, I think in his own right, and I just want to give him his props and his flowers. But I that feel like, like he's doing yeah, I feel like yeah. he has achieved a lot. He has a yeah. lot to show for. So I'm just like, so I think the time is coming. He's just a go-getter. <laughs> no, yeah. And that's good. Yeah. That's a good quality to he have. Really and I respect is. that as a man, mm -hmm. about a man, because there's a lot of men these days ain't doing that shit, right? Everything needs to be handed to them. But, Don't get me started. But yeah, but he's not like that. Yeah. He's motivated me a lot. Like I looked up to him. Oh, is that right? Yes, because he's oh, a little okay. older than me. We're like four years apart. Okay. But I looked up to him a lot. Like yeah. just him getting his stuff together, him changing his ways. Mm, I see. And I feel like I was like that as well. Okay, got so you. So he ha he has me just growing up, maturing. Yeah. Looking at stuff different. Yeah. So I, I really do to, look up. It's to important him. to do that though, right? Yes. Like, it's like it's like I say, everything doesn't deserve a response. So while we joke earlier that you're the fighter, and yeah, we seen you on the social media, you know, snatching a bitch's wig off. <laughs> <laughs> Did I? I don't remember. I thought it was. I thought, or at least they were talking about it. I don't know, but <laughs> but no. But mind you, that was years and years ago. Yeah, okay, but no. But, but at some point, I probably kept the wig too. <laughs> <laughs> it was playing no. with it afterwards. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to say though, and just you know, Ulysses, shout out to you, and I think that you are doing big things. And I thought it was. Cute. Let's just. I want to say this too. I've been wanting to joke about you since since I found out we're booking you. <laughs> you know, at the Waco Awards are coming up, yeah. <laughs> and one of the, the one of the um the the categories that uh -huh. they added amongst the thousands that they have uh -huh. um is dog breeders of the year. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, who's gonna win besides Ulysses? <laughs> who, <laughs> no, honestly, who else is breeding dogs? Hey, he was breeding dogs, breeding yeah. me. Oh. And <laughs> he was like, you and he, I'm getting yes. you too. Oh uh -uh. shit, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I saw the fucking category, I was like, okay. So that's for yeah. you, this isn't Kevin. Like, yeah, for real. <laughs> all right, like, no, anyway, listen. So, um, Ashley, since you've been on the show three years ago, mm -hmm. what's been what's been new with you? I mean, obviously, so much has gone on in your business and a lot of growth I can see. Can you talk mm -hmm. to us a little bit about since you've been on the show? Well, since I've been on the show, um, I've been doing a lot of, I'm really known in Waco for Brazilian waxes. Yes, yes. And, of course, my TikToks. I've been growing my TikToks. Mm -hmm. Um it's funny because when I was in school and the first time you had me, I was like, I wasn't going to just, I, I seen Alex um, yeah. episode the other day. Yeah. I told myself I wasn't going to do that. Mm. I just wasn't interested in it. Well, after the first time I did it, I was just like, you know what? I like this. Yeah. So that's all I do. So yeah, all you post is badges. On, yeah. <laughs> and uh, she yeah. was trying to get me for a minute because I was right. going somewhere else. It took her a minute else. to come to me. You mean for her to Brazilian yes. you? Yeah, I was yeah. going somewhere else and she was like, I go to you every two weeks yeah. to get my nails and you still don't come to me. I'm like, Ashley, if you want to just see, just, just, just tell me. Okay. <laughs> I said, no. girl, I used to wipe but, your ass. <laughs> just let me wax you. When you were you. drunk, it's good, right? It's no, good. but when I went the first time, it wasn't yeah. that bad. I was like, okay. okay. It, you know, it, it seems is. almost revealing that. I mean, listen, I've never seen like, on purpose, a vagina real life for obvious reasons. Not, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know it, it almost seems revealing on social media, though. I wonder how you not get away with it, but yeah. I know, you, you know, sometimes you're just like this, and that's, yeah. that's their piece. Yeah. But then you, I mean, obviously, the rest of it's their vagina. Yeah. You know, do, yeah. do, do are a lot of women nervous about you putting their badges on social media like that? Or um, I do get some, and I get some that like, who's mm. gonna know is me? Of course, mm -hmm. I do get their consent. They sign a form. Oh, they do. Okay. Um, and then whoever do does let me uh, yeah. do before and after get a discount with me. Oh, I so see. So they love discounts. Do you do so. men too? <sighs> I don't. You I mean, don't? I do. Can I, you, you can. I, I do their back, their booty, okay. their chest, yes. face. Um, but Girl, I get, haven't done a manzillion. Well, let me tell you something. Can you get my back? Because I've been noticing a little bit of hairs back yes. here. I'm not about that fucking let life. Me. Thank God I don't have hair on my ass. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And I, you know, I always thought it was gross when there was hair growing out of a man's back. Uh -huh. I don't know. I sh I'm like very groomed some. Like I groom a lot. You know what I mean? But, you know, I like, you know. I know it's yes. inappropriate. I'm not trying to be gay, but I'm just Definitely. saying, I'm like, you know, everybody likes to be a little. Let me do your back just, and TikTok. We'll do, do the back TikTok. and TikTok, yes. And, you know, since we're having back day and shit, shout out to Monica. We we both work out with Monica. Yes. Yeah, shout yes. out to her. Now, Ace. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get to know a little bit about you? Because, I mean, this is your first time on the show. And so I would love to get to know who Ace Zavala is growing up and everything, please. Well, I've always been more like to myself. Mm -hmm. I feel like Ashley's been more of the, you know, out there, yeah. talkative. Okay. I've always been kind of like antisocial a little bit, mm -hmm. but I'm I'm trying to get out of my shell, and I have been ever since I started doing nails. Yeah, I've been doing nails for going on six Show years. Show the camera them nails, girl. The, those are scratch a bitch. Uh, what are you talking yes. about? Yes, <laughs> I, I got them okay. just for that. Yes, okay. when you go to five bar, <laughs> don't, don't ask me how I my butt because I got one of them toilets. You how push the you? button. Do you and have it, a day? No, do I don't. Oh, oh, I need no, one though. I have one. Oh, do oh you? you do? I do, and I think. Well, I, see you. Yeah, you have to get one. 
every yeah. I think guys and girls both have to get a bidet. Mm-hmm. It's y'all were tripping on COVID when you couldn't get toilet paper. I was not. I was like, psh, psh, like we good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of people like, ask me, how do you do this? How yeah. you do that? I'm like, I do everything. I got a 11 month old baby. Mm-hmm. I do everything. You don't scratch him up with it. I don't. Really? Let me let me not because I haven't. Yeah, yet. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. How do you do other things with the nails? Oh, I, I, I could do you everything. Got that. She's <laughs> an no, expert. No hands. No hands. Yes. <laughs> no, I, li- I like to get them short, medium. Just, yeah. what, just whatever I'm feeling. I got you. I got you. What were the yes. circumstances of your life growing up? Are you from Waco? Or? I am. Okay. I'm from Waco, yes. Yeah, and the family dynamic for you. Would you say that you had a pretty rough life or was things easy for you? Or? Um, I feel like I had a, a good yeah. life, good childhood. Mm-hmm. Um, I feel like, if anything, I made it hard for myself. Really? Yeah. In what aspect do you think? Um, just for like, I mean, like in school wise, I just, I was always the type that never listened or mm. I wasn't really good with people telling me what to do. She was a rebel. She was a rebel, as yeah. Far, and as far as jobs as well, like before I started doing nails, I had like three other jobs. Right. And I did not, I did not do well with none of those just because like coming in at this time, okay. I just didn't do good with Are that. Are you not good with authority and leadership? I'm not. Or? I'm not. Mm-mm. How does that? I and I feel like doing yeah. nails and and joining cosmetology, like you could basically make your own schedule, up, right? You know, so I feel like that's more my type of thing. And then no, me sure. trying to be my own boss, I'm like, yeah, that's that's what I want. That's my want. my days when I want them off. Uh huh. So pretty I much think, telling yourself what to do. Exactly. I, you know, I, can I ask a personal question? I wonder how that plays out in your relationship because the, I I view relationships in a more traditional manner, in the sense of like the man, you know, is like the head, and the woman is the neck. You know what I mean? And I feel so, like we're we're kind of both. Okay. Boss. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah, so we both wear the pants. <laughs> does that does that not like interfere with anything? It I does wonder? sometimes. Yeah. It, it does. It does. <laughs> but I feel like it keeps both of us on our toes. Really? So like we both set high standards. I would think so. that that would be difficult, right? Like it can be. It can be, yeah. But I mean, I like it because it has everything in line. They, yeah, sure. they learn to work with it. That's yeah. good. Yeah, I mean, two bosses living in the same. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, sometimes, I, sometimes he gets. You know, tired of me <laughs> nagging on him, but he just says yes. But I'm like, if, if I don't do it, who's gonna do it? Right, you for know sure. What I mean? so. Talk to me about when you met Ulysses. I, I always liked watching y'all's relationship on social media. I think that you guys look amazing together, and the fact that yes. you both are bosses is just another plus. So big kudos to you guys. But what was it meeting your man's? Um, so we've been together ten years. We uh-huh. just had our ten year anniversary, but we're you know typical. Mm-hmm. Couple, I mean, typical people from South Waco. <laughs> At the as, club. As okay, you can taking say. provocative photos. <laughs> yeah, so. Is there any hidden provocative videos that we've. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But we yeah. met each other, you know. I feel like at our at our lowest points in oh, life. Really? Yeah, because mm-hmm. when I met him, he had just lost his mom. Oh. Um, and it had been like a year. So when I met him, he was like, you know, just. Mm-hmm. Uh, being crazy and yeah for sure all that as anybody else would you know right. you and then i feel yeah. like me i was going through my stage where i didn't give no ifs about nothing you, you can can't curse. tell it's me okay. nothing yeah it's okay <laughs> ashley so. said, didn't she didn't give you the rules before you got here that there are no rules <laughs> <laughs> I keep it cute. but i feel like i feel like when we met each other we mm. we met each other for you know the right reasons to get each other on track to That's get good to pull each other out that darkness yeah. or whatever. So I feel like, yeah. It takes a strong couple to do that, I think. Mm-hmm. I think it takes a strong couple, especially when you guys are going through the ringer. And surely you've had your own challenges in the relationship, mm-hmm. but it takes a partnership, right? Yeah. Like it takes mm-hmm. the both of you. But I don't know that. That's what I'm saying. The fact that you both are alphas. Yes. <laughs> like I feel like that would get in the way of a lot. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, but it took, it took a long time coming yeah. as any relationship. For I feel sure. like we had our ups and downs. But I could honestly say like right now, we are in like, the time to we're in the time where we're good we're happy yeah like i can honestly say like i'm really happy right now like That's with good. everything going on family household yes. work-wise relationship just blessed ev- yes just blessed up and i feel like it i prayed about that a yeah. lot like when you know when am i gonna actually be happy like Most in, definitely. in life not necessarily like with him but right, like right. you know in general just growing mm-hmm. growing up going mm-hmm. through certain stuff and i feel like i handle a lot of stuff pretty good yeah because i don't put my personal business out there like you, really you never don't. see me mm-hmm. put my stuff on social media or what i'm going through but that's just me i'm yeah, not yeah. saying nothing's wrong with that but right. that's just how i handle stuff we, I, we keep our stuff more private absolutely and that's what i love what about you guys through. the only thing that we ever see about them is just hot pictures because like, <laughs> because we could be it. fighting one day and then the next minute we all on each other so why would we want to put that <laughs> on social yeah, media yeah i agree they're gonna be like well damn they were just fighting now i love know? i love but and no. respect a couple that that just go through things in private you mm-hmm. know what yes. i mean I, I say that to my best friend and his wife i'm like i love that you guys just 
I don't ever know when they're fighting. <laughs> I mean, it's just it's so great. Now, now, Ashley, you've gotten married or since the show, right? Yes. Not mar- yes. Yeah, but with within. Oh no, yeah. Right. Wasn't next it year. resident? Yeah. Uh huh. You got okay. Yeah. So so I mean, how has life changed for you since then? Do you think that marriage strengthens you guys' relationship, or was there trials to begin with as well? Um, I mean, it's the same. Yeah. I married my best friend, so we're cool. Didn't like, I say he was supposed to come on the show too with you? Well, didn't, didn't we need to do a that? couple yeah, shows. Yeah. We should have had all four of you guys <laughs> yeah. on the fucking show. Yeah, that would have yeah. been fun. It's, it's nothing changed. Um, yeah. I'm just a married woman now. Um, mm-hmm. But them it. DMs still lit, though. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. Yeah. No, no, Ace, what, okay, so you, you do nails. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about your career beginnings. I mean, we know that um, she's making our badges look snatched, right? Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, no, what, what inspired you to do that? And, and Whenever that I was... Path? Younger, growing up, I've always left. I could never go without my toes and mm-hmm. my nails done. Like, that's just one thing about me that I have to have done. Right. Mm-hmm. And I feel like in school and in jobs, they would always be nagging about me like, oh, your nails are too long or, or you can't have piercings. You can't have this. You can't have that. And I'm just, like I said, I just don't like people telling me what yeah, to do. Yeah, for sure. So, I don't know. I just got really into it. And I started practice on, on my little sister. And yeah. she's the type that's like, Mm-mm. these are ugly or <laughs> these no, are lumpy like or <laughs> yes or she'll take them off but so she was my guinea pig mm, so mm. and oh. so now she she used to talk shit about me about yeah. her nails and now she's blowing me up can you give me a can you do this can you yeah and not just that um, yeah. she's yeah. she's getting into it she's oh yeah oh the sister is yeah oh, little okay got gotcha. you little one so, oh, that's so cute yeah so she'll, she'll come get her nails done yeah. and she'll be on her phone i'm like are you paying attention yeah so, but she knows each step, and then her her stuff looks pretty good though. Yeah, I should have had you do off. my nails before I, the show. I always think, but I always think it's weird when dudes have like fucking French tips. <laughs> like I do. I think I've never you, seen it. I've seen that shit before, dude. Uh-uh. Yeah, I mean they're they're starting to paint them. Yeah, oh, they yeah. like yeah. getting a manicure. I mean, I like Bad Bunny. To I'm me, what I look, I feel like <laughs> looks good is like a manicure with like clear coat. I do do clear coats. You know, like to help me stop biting my nails because I, I bite oh, my yeah. nails. Yeah, and so I did do clear coats before, and I have done manicures with that. But I think that when guys get like fucking French tips, I think it's like, and I'm gay as fuck. In case you ever realized, but, <laughs> <laughs> I, still, I would be happy to. Would you? No, I just but I want a nail. I want like one nail like yeah. yours, like that. No, I, I, I want it to be this oh, one. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I want it to be this one so I can go like this and then... Sh- or in case you got to <laughs> shake somebody. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know. Like I said, these days. <laughs> no, for real. I don't know why the fuck I'm almost getting into fights every time I go out now. I, like, I don't understand this. What is going no. on? I feel like I'm on that show Baddies East. <laughs> My friend Leslie got me on that show. You know Leslie Delgado. She yeah. got me on Baddies East. I'm like, bitch, I can't watch that shit in the morning right now. <laughs> I'd be going to work and shit like ready, ready to fight. Like, ready. <laughs> like, the littlest thing, I'd be ready to set it off. You know what I mean? <laughs> hey, I love y'all's relationship. You call her your sister. Yes. yes. She's not your biological sister, though. Yes, she is. Oh, she is your biological I mean, we have yeah. different daddies. Oh, you have different daddies? We have the same Oh, mom. okay, okay. Yeah, that's my She's my the oh, white, she's the white misunder- one, I'm the dark one. I guess I misunderstood when you said that she's just my best friend. Okay. No, <laughs> no, no a lot of people, too. too. A lot of my clients, yeah. they're like, is that really your, your sister? Mm-hmm. Or you all mm-hmm. just call each other? Mm-hmm. No, we're, we're blood. Yeah, we're, we're so I'm the oh, dark one in the family. You know, there's always that dark one. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> No, I understand. Yeah, my, my brother, who's locked up and I haven't talked to him in 10 uh-huh. years, uh, he's, uh-huh. he's dark-skinned like you as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. so, no, okay, no, but now, uh, you guys are sisters. Mm-hmm. How, how was the relationship? You mentioned different dads, right? So did you necessarily grow up with each other? Or? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. Um, I took her under my wing. Mm-hmm. I taught her bad stuff. <laughs> <laughs> she was getting me in the clubs, like, at yeah. 14. Oh, were you really? Bad how the fuck were you doing that, Ashley? No, I thought it would be her. I know. <laughs> yes. And, and then it's yeah. funny because... Now she does it with a little sister, and I'm yeah. like, "Stop doing that! You're not supposed to be doing it." She's like, "Bitch, you're the one that taught me this <laughs> shit." <laughs> What's the age gap here? Um, how many years apart? I'm 33. I'm 26. Oh yeah. So whatever Actually, that you number had no is. No fucking business doing all that mess. I know, okay. but she, she was just crying. <laughs> no, but you know no what? How old she Growing was. up, I would always hang with older people. Yeah. I never right. liked hanging around my age group. Mm. I would watch her though. Yes. Mm-hmm. I would be like, uh, uh-uh, like. So, well, then, in that case, then talk to me about your sisterhood, then, because like I always think it's fascinating. Like I have a biological brother who I'm just not close with, right? And he's mm-hmm. the only sibling I have in this world, unless my dad's out there making kids behind my back. And so, <laughs> um, like my brothers, who I've, you know, Morrow and Jaime, but mm-hmm. we're not biological. Logical, you know what I mean? So how how was strengthening your sisterhood now being business partners, which we'll get to in a second? Um, how, how was that pretty fluid for you? Or would you say that there were some challenges in that as well? Or especially growing I, up somewhat in a broken home, mm-hmm. I think. Is I fair feel to like say. at yeah. the beginning we 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 had our ups and downs yeah. a little bit, but that's just because the age that I was yeah, at, I was just mm-hmm. growing up, you know, you know that age where you just don't care about nothing. Yeah, for sure. But I feel like I, I grew out of that and I feel like we became closer. Mm-hmm. Since she moved um, here, yeah. 
Yeah, because when she was on that rebel stage, um, we would get into it. We really? would get into it a lot, and um, I was just trying to like Ace, like chill out. You're right, doing too sure. much. Yeah. And and then I would sometimes blame myself because I'm like I'm the one that took her to the club. I'm the one right, that right. gave her her first. You know what I mean? So she's acting like this because yes, of me. Yeah. but at the end of the day, you know what I mean? Yeah. She made her own choices, well, but I have a good question. Then you know we we talked about the pushback that you got on your episode when you were on episode 53. Go watch it if you haven't. Mm-hmm. Very inspiring. The girls loved it. And so um, you know how many dudes were in my DMs when your fucking episode <laughs> came out? I be getting so mad. These niggas be in y'all in my DMs asking about y'all. You know what I mean? And my DMs dry as a fucking whistle. It pisses me off. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who's that chick with the hot? She's married. She's getting married, but I'm not married. You know what I mean? I'm not single. I'm like, hello. No, I, I, I want to. I do want to know that she she was very fl- um, candid on her episode about a lot of things that she went with in terms of abuse and everything like that. Yeah. You, as the younger sister, and and did you have a lot of exposure to what she was going through at the time? And what's your response to anybody about that episode when it came out? Like a lot of the negative criticism. Behind um, it. I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, what she went through. That's what she went through, but. Mm. Like me, I can't really say too much because I feel like I had a good childhood. I didn't right. really go through too much. Right. Like she I really, said, she, honestly, um, a lot of my family didn't know that I was getting abused because oh, we really? hit it so well. Okay. So we would hang out and stuff. Right. Um, and she had no idea that. She, oh, so you didn't was, even know. Yes. Mm, did well, you ever have your suspicions? Like, did you ever want to snatch him up or like? A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. But I mean, like me personally, I feel like I deal with like hard stuff. Mm-hmm. Good. Like okay. you know, like some people deal with stuff different but i feel like me wise like i don't know i just deal with stuff yeah yeah for sure okay so so anybody who's saying that she was faking the whole thing i mean fuck them pretty much i mean every (laughs) no but i feel like everybody goes through stuff like so you can't really say what is real and what is fake what's not she knows her own story yeah and that's that yeah i just i wonder you as the sister what your perspective was in the whole thing because i mean i don't know like I watched my biological brother it's it's when family comes into play right and so I I hate this shit. It's like family over everything until shit gets real. And Mm -hmm. so I watched my biological brother, who I can't stand his wife, right? Like, fuck her. (laughs) You know, but um, um, I watched him cheat on her. I watched him do her wrong. I don't know if he was abusing her or not. And I watched him do a lot of things that were not how we were raised. You know what I mean? And I didn't agree with it. And I felt like my family was like, but you have to stick by him no matter what. But I'm Mm -hmm. not condoning bad behavior either. Like, so everything that he did to go to jail and everything that he did to her, and nonetheless how I feel about her, it was wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Everything that you did to that girl was wrong. You know what I mean? So um, I just wonder, in, in your perspective, you know, knowing that your sister went through that after the fact, I wonder what your your, your mindset it, was. It, yeah. just, it just taught me, really. It just mm-hmm. made me look at stuff different and what not to accept, and yeah. you know? So I feel like there's always that, that one sister, that one sibling that goes mm-hmm. through everything for the rest. For sure. Yeah, so I and feel so, like... Okay, so you... Good, you know, good for you. And you still grew mm-hmm. up to be a strong woman. Yes. yes. With them ta- I love them tattoos. Did you get new tattoos since you've I been did, on the show? I did, my Girl, elephant. Girl, you better get out of here with all that mess. Okay. I'm no, telling Dudes are going to be in my DMs again. <laughs> <laughs> They're both married. Fuck. And I don't know, Ulysses, he'd be looking like he could fight too. So I'm not, I don't want those problems. I just want him on the show. What's the biggest pet peeves that you guys have of each other? Oh, let me see. Pet peeve, pet peeve. I don't know, because we get along. That's what I'm saying. I can't well, right Like, now. we really Disney. do. I please. Uh, I mean, when we were, whenever I was younger. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we fought one time. You guys had a fist fight? Yes. yes. I, feel one, like, I feel like I fought all my siblings. <laughs> I fought, fought all of them. And oh one, one time they all tried to gain up on me. No. Yeah. <laughs> Did you take them all down? I wanted she to. Tried. Yeah. She tried. I, I was in the door listening. <laughs> Yeah, and I opened, yeah. I said, oh, okay, so y'all all talking about me? What's up? <laughs> yeah, at that time when we fought, it was crazy. Yeah. I was going through shit. She was going through shit. Mm-hmm. So it was over something so stupid. Right, right. But I was, at the moment of my life, I was like, you know what? I'm miserable. Everybody else around me is going to be oh, miserable. I see. Okay. So it was over something. So you, so so you were just being, like, selfish in the aspect. I was being petty. Piss her off. And yeah. But, but looking, at, looking at it now, I feel like I could never do that. I could never put oh, my hands yeah. on my sister. Oh, I yeah. could never. yeah. Like now that I look at it, I'm like, why did I even do that? You I know? just, I just think that people putting hands on people, period, is unnecessary. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really think like, on, and you can call me a pussy, whatever you want. And I know I've never had a fight. Have I been assaulted? Yes, but uh, like, at the end of the day, I'm in the mindset of we cannot resolve our issues with our words i don't even want to fucking talk yeah. to you yeah you know we went to warehouse mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. we went to warehouse for leslie's birthday yeah. and i don't know why there was a fight every five seconds i, I was scared so i feel like me and my husband we don't go out as yeah. much because, because you know because there's a lot of that 
So you, you really don't see, like you'll see us out but right. for occasions, but Listen, we really if just you don't. want me to go to brunch, bitch, I will be at brunch at ten in the morning. Day yes. drinking is just all. Is I will be is. there with you till three in the afternoon, but do not invite me. Own and I told fucking Leslie the other day, I love her. <laughs> I said, Leslie, only reason why my bitch ass was at some fucking warehouse was because it was your birthday. I actually fucking left. I actually if left. I'm if I'm yeah. ever anywhere, it's because this this yeah, bitch. I, I yeah, like no, you. I told I was like, girl, you were there for my whole birthday. The fucking DJ, you know, <laughs> DJ doesn't like me, so he was staring daggers at me the whole fucking night. And then all of a sudden, I see people over there pointing, and I was like, oh, I'm fucking. Hell, no. Only reason why I went back, girls, because I love you and it was your birthday. Okay. <laughs> And that's it. And but then, yeah, I like like me and Ashley when we go out. Mm. I feel like we're we're a vibe. We know how to. Yeah, y'all. We know how to like yeah. you know yeah. chill. We don't really get into get it with drama. other people. Yeah, it's we don't. Not though, like, and I feel like yeah. and we go out with each other because we okay. know how we are. We you know what I'm saying. We, Ashley, we can... you be getting too turned up for me, girl. I can't. I be watching <laughs> not your... recently. No, yeah, yeah, girl, it's catching up to me. I be watching your fucking Snapchats at <laughs> five in the morning when I'm up getting ready for the day, and I'm like, God damn, bitch. <laughs> She's <laughs> ass shaking. She showed me a video the other night of her dancing in the God. car. Oh, shit. And my man just... Yes. And I'm like, I, I told though. her, I said, why don't I remember this? this I'm she was in the, she was in the front does. seat, turned the other way, shaking her ass, <laughs> spinning her cause a whole rig. Oh, my God. And I, you hear my man, eh, hey, hey, yes. I love him. that your man's... That y'all, I just love... Because, look at... Y'all are both stunning women, right? And Thank obviously, you. when you post a picture, there's gonna be some thirsty ass dudes, right? I just love that y'all's men just seem to just play y'all up, though. Like, yeah. on, I just, I love that about y'all. You know what I mean? Like, our dudes are not insecure. Them. Yeah, they're not insecure, mm -hmm. and you know, it takes yeah. And I feel like that's a good thing if mm. people are, you know, complimenting or whatever, like. Yeah. If they ain't say nothing, then damn, we ugly. Now, now you guys um, have a special announcement to make before we go to break, and I just want to just do it real quick, okay? Uh, <laughs> who's who's gonna? Yes. So, <laughs> so yes, we are uh, opening up a salon oh, pretty right. soon. We'll have it um, posted on our both of our Social Instagrams. Media. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we'll we don't have, have a date yet. Okay, do we have a date? But it's soon. Yes, it's it's beauty bliss. Beauty yeah. bliss. Yes, yes. and bliss. You know that kind of falls in like spa, yeah. relax, beauty. Oh shit! It's gonna that. be multiple services. So, yeah, so that's why I named it that. Oh wow! Yes. So are you guys nervous about going into business together though, as sisters? No, Do you think, no. I think we'll have fun. Yeah. If anything, that's. I yeah. don't know. That's, I mean, sometimes I get like, okay, you know, because I've never worked with my sister. Yeah. So sometimes saying, yeah. I do. I'm like, you know, we'll see how. But I'm. It's gonna work. But out. I'm, I'm yeah. hardworking women. Yeah. Like I'll be there okay. all day, every day. Yeah. So I feel like when it comes I, to yeah. work, it's gonna yeah. be good. We're I, gonna yeah. have fun. Okay. No, I I get nervous sometimes, you know, because yeah. people think like I don't know that I would necessarily go into business like with my best mm -hmm. friends or, or yeah. you know what I mean and mm -hmm. stuff like that because sometimes I can like. Bring turmoil, but you know we're gonna get to that in a minute, okay? Yeah. See, but we're gonna learn more about beauty bliss in here in just a second. We got more. Um, I want to know about the DMs, even though they're still married. I want to know about um, <laughs> Ace's turn in life and how she's not snatching bitches up anymore and more. Okay, <laughs> so make sure you guys stay tuned here on the Public Affair. We'll be right back. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this exciting episode of The Public Affair. My very two luscious guests, Ashley Ledesma, Ace Savada. Before we continue, I definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few more of our sponsors of this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Banda's Hauling Service with Julian and Ana Banda, who rent dump trailers. You fill it up and they're going to haul it away. They also do junk removals and tree brush removals and haul cars in and out of town. Book now with the number on the screen. They're perfect when you're in a sticky situation. Not like that, stop it. When you're in a sticky situation, okay? And if you need a tow, you know, the car breaks down out of nowhere, he's got you. Banda's Hauling Service. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Manny Guerrero at Blue Star RV Services, a mobile RV tech who can fix all RVs, travel trailers, fifth wheels, toy haulers, and so much more. Oh, and food trucks, because a lot of my friends on here, y'all be having food trucks, the ACB out and shit like that. Just call Manny Guerrero. He's got you. He deals with the warranty companies, too, just in case they're under manufacturer warranties. You don't got to pay for shit. He'll take care of it. Follow on Facebook or call the number on the screen, the Blue Star RV Services. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, to Myra Rosales with Strike Oppose Photography, a digital photo booth business. Perfect for parties, private events, corporate events, and so much more. It's convenient, it's fun, and it's easy. And if you need some private photo sessions as well, my girl's got you, all right? Call now and book with the number on the screen and follow on Facebook at Strike Oppose Photography. Thank you so much, Myra, for sponsoring this episode of the public of fam, sorry my words. Of course, the Big Bear Lawn Care with Fernando de la Rosa snack. He's a small landscaping business. Y'all's lawns are a hot mess. 
He's gonna come over there, he's gonna take care of it, all right? Professional, he, he specializes in mowing, edging, mulching, and so much more. Call with the number on the screen and book with Big Bear Lawn Care right now. Ew, who's trying to mow the grass right now? I'm not trying to do that shit. Let's call them, they'll do it, all right? And of course, to Sid Rodriguez with Elite Barbershop, making sure I'm looking snackish for this episode of The Public Affair located on Hewitt Drive. Call now with the number on the screen and download the Squire app. Walk-ins are welcome as well. He has Marcus Grill, Chris Reyes, Santos Cordova, David Rodriguez, Isaac Chavez, Cliff Fletcher, and Isai Reyes, as well as himself. Over there making you look snatched for any event coming up. Just listen, go to Elite Barbershop. He'd make sure that I look good for more than 100. And I don't even, what is this? 170 something, 172, three? I don't know. For something <laughs> of the episodes of The Public Affair, all right? Thank you so much to Sid Rodriguez. All right, guys, we're here. We got Ace Zavala in the building. We got my girl Ashley Ledesma featured on episode 53 of The Public Affair. And she is back three years later and you look stunning. Thank I you. I have to say you both look stunning. Thank you. Uh, I got out of the car. I only wore like the sweats and shit because <laughs> I have a hosting after this and it's an outside hosting. And it's cold outside today. And then I just wish that I would have like wore a suit or something. I was which, hoping it would be colder. Yeah, really? I mean, yeah. the high is 70. That's the coldest it's gotten yeah. in a long time. Yeah. Okay. Now, listen, I know you both are married. Okay. And we talked about DMs earlier, right? But are the DMs still lit? Do you guys like still get them thirsty ass dudes in the DMs trying to just snatch you away? I haven't. Ooh. I haven't. Um, I'll put my man on there a lot. And yeah. Of course, on my Facebook, I'm always shouting him out. Yeah, yeah. My kids, so. I don't know, because your Snapchat be different, dude. Sometimes I be seeing the ass all over Snapchat. So I, Snapchat <laughs> is where I'm worried about you. No. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> no. I, I haven't been. Have you? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like it's, it's always, you know, people messaging yeah. you. But I feel like I just ignore it. Like, yeah, I yeah ignore for sure, it. for sure. Yeah. Like, he sees it, too, and we mm -hmm. just ignore it. it it's nothing like. Do you, do you guys get comfortable enough? I, I I don't know because I'm single. But, like, do you eventually, like, hey, look who's trying to slide in my DMs. Like, do, do you, is, it, is it comfortable like that? Or you just kind of, like, delete it and move on? I'd leave it there. Yeah? Because I don't even open it. Like, I don't even. Yeah. Half the right. time, I don't even look at it. Like, oh, I see. So it, it really don't mm -hmm. bother me because mm -hmm. I don't even know who they are. Same for you, Ashley? Yeah. Yeah, yeah okay, I got Pretty you. Much. Yeah, for sure. Um, no, okay, let's talk about the business, right? Okay, so we got Beauty Bliss opening up. Mm -hmm. What what made you guys decide, you know what, we're going to go ahead and, and go into business together now? And, and well, as far as me, I feel like um, I've been in the, you know, nail salons for five years. Yeah. And I feel like it's just, it's time for me to, you know, do my own thing, have my own little vibe going. Yeah. Um, I started off at Solar Nails, mm -hmm. and yeah, I had a good experience there. Um, as soon as I came out of school, I put on Facebook that you know I was looking for somewhere to work, and right. the owner at uh, Solar Nails he hit me up and told me to go in, and he did gave me a little interview, and I feel like I was nervous. He was like, "Why are you all nervous for?" And I was like, <laughs> "I don't know." Yeah, for and sure. The, yeah, so he that was a good foundation okay. for me to build or whatever. And then I left there, and literally. It was like off guard when I left. So the next day I had like clients that I had to do. Right. And I was like, where am I going to work at? Because I don't right. I don't like working at home. Oh, yeah. Because sure. I just feel like that's just a sacred place for me. Okay. The smell, you know, the nails. And, yeah. all that. and then I have kids. I don't want kids running in and out the room. I see, bothering I see. nobody. Right. Or whatever. So I always like being in a nail salon. And okay. I was looking for somewhere to work. And I'm like, where am I going to work? You know, so I literally went at all the nail salons in Waco. Yeah. And I shoot you now. They all said no. Oh, really? And I think it's because they just want their race mm -hmm. oh. in there. A lot of so them. So I feel like when we say their race, what are we, are we talking Vietnamese. about? Like, Vietnamese. Vietnamese. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. I used to think they're Chinese too. But yeah. No. Well, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. They're Vietnamese. Do you whatever. think it's more like like are they all family? I don't know. Like that's somewhat. Like, yeah. Some are a lot. Okay, yeah. Yeah, a lot of them are family. And yeah. like at, at Solar Nose, they kind of have like a mixture mm. of, you know, race or whatever. So I went to every nail salon in Waco. They all turned me down. They all said no. Isn't that kind of profiling? Isn't that like illegal? <laughs> but, well, because when yeah. I first started doing nails, there yeah. was not that many nail techs. Oh, okay. Like, American-wise or yeah, yeah. Mm, not yeah, Vietnamese, yeah. you know? So All they have to do is look at the Waco Awards thing, and there's a bunch <laughs> yeah. of does nails on the Waco Awards. Right? <laughs> I feel like ever since COVID and the yeah. pandemic, whatever, yeah, now a there's lot, a lot like of as nail as techs. Cosmetology. Yeah. The beauty industry has but I was I, See, me, I was trying to do something that nobody else was doing okay got you, you know, so i kind of wanted to do my own thing or yeah whatever. and you know back to me going all over waco looking for a uh, nail salon to work at definitely um i was like you know what i'm just gonna do it at home i guess because i have mm. clients tomorrow and i was like you know what let me do, let me go to one more spot yeah so i went to nail 2000 okay and that was the last spot that i went to after all day looking I went in there and I talked to the owner and he was like, okay, well, can you, you know, do you do designs and stuff? And yeah. I showed him my, my work and he was like, oh, okay, you're good. He was, he was like, so when can you start? I was like, 
I was I like, said, bitch today. I was like, tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then he was like, okay, okay. He was like, well, I'll see you tomorrow. So I was like, okay. Like, it was just that oh, quick. Good. okay. And like an hour later, can you come in right now? And oh, I was like, wow. <laughs> I was like, well, I was like, no, I got to get everything situated. I was like, I'll be there tomorrow. He was like, okay, okay. <laughs> but when I tell you, like, yeah. Nail 2000 is like one of the jobs that... Like I like going there. Okay, okay. They're so nice. They're so They're welcoming. Really nice. really? Where are they at? Shout out to them. Uh, on North Valley Mills. By Fud Records. Uh, yeah. Oh, I love Fud Records. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like all of them there. They're more like older, so I feel like they're okay. more mature. So they were more like receptive of you. And, yeah. Yeah, I got you. And they're more like supporting. And That's then I good. told them, uh, I was kind of scared to tell them like, hey, I'm you know gonna, gonna, gonna go, to go on my own way. Yeah. Which I shouldn't feel like that, but I feel like other nail salons did it, you know. Yeah. Whatever. Was he was the yeah. owner pretty receptive of you doing that? Yeah. Oh, okay. They even cool. said That's like they're good. like, Congratulations. I don't know. I didn't expect this to go that way. I wish I would have got that support at the radio. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but that's okay, because like every other job that I had, like mm -hmm. it was like me not wanting to go in and mm. And I feel like me doing nails, like, it's something that I, I like doing. Like, yeah. when I go to work, I don't hate you it. Be I don't. In an atmosphere that you enjoy. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Like, you know, some people go to work, they're like, oh, I can't wait to get off, or I don't even want to go so, in. So, yeah. to start the business was your idea. Yes. Or was it a collective idea? Uh, well, no, we, we've been talking about it. Yeah. It was just we've been talking for a long time. Yeah. yeah. It was just never the right timing. Just like, I going see. through. You were in Abby suite, right? I'm, I still am. Are you still there? Mm -hmm. Shout out to Abby. We yes. were supposed to actually have you and Abby on the show, and then yeah. I don't know how to. But, <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what was what was her reception like when you told her? So it was so crazy. With, yeah. Because Abby's my bestie. And so. And shout out to her. She just had a baby. Yeah. I saw her at the She's fucking so fair two days ago. <laughs> Look snatched. I know. When I was she like, what in, baby did you have? When like, she walked yes. in uh, to ah. work, I'm like, bitch, baby, where mm -hmm. the hell is your big toe big? She have no fucking kids. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> okay, you faked that. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> no, she did have a baby. She looked, and uh, Abby, you look fucking stunning. Girl. Yes. Stunning, stunning, stunning. As you. always. Yes. yes. But yeah, whenever um, it was time for me to tell her, I was just nervous a little bit. I was nervous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I don't know why. Mm -hmm. I'm just like that. I I I overstress. No, I yeah. overthink same, same. always. Mm -hmm. So when it was time for me to tell her that you know that me and her are gonna get a spot and then I'm uh, possibly gonna move out, I took on a dinner and everything okay. and telling her how much I appreciate her and she's yeah. like. What is it? What's going on? Yeah. yeah, so I do Abby's nails, and she was like, I, w I was wondering what was up with Ashley, because she invited me to dinner. <laughs> okay, she's talking about some 135 Prime and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that's all yeah. you want, Abby? <laughs> so she, but she was pretty receptive Oh, yeah, she's, she's, well, yeah. she's like, she, she didn't understand why I was so nervous. And, and you know what? Shout out to her, too, though. I mean, the teeth whitening did wonders for me. And yeah. I, I do want to get a dental dam. Like you, you. I see, see, Yes. I saw um, Oscar had it. He was on my show. He goes mm -hmm. to Abby. And I, since I saw him do it, I was like, oh, okay, so it's not gay, so I can do it. Yeah. Because yeah. he's not gay, even <laughs> though I did make a slight attempt to sleep with Oscar, but I didn't. So. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't because he's not gay, and I respect that. I respect. That. You know, um, congratulations to you guys. Beauty Bliss is coming out, and I Thank can't you. wait to. I want. I definitely want to come visit. Are we gonna have mimosas? Am I gonna be able to drink? We're gonna have yes. everything. Girl, We're gonna I'm have a there. grand opening. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna be there. Please let me know, and yes. I will be there. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, as far as all that goes, though, do you guys have any client horror stories <laughs> that that you guys could? You know, I had um, um a guest on the show. Amber, <laughs> and mm -hmm. she told she told a really funny um, horror story. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean about a client. And so I wonder if you guys have went through the same thing ever. What do you mean by like like so somebody who just like was about to trash you because they thought you did such a bad job or made you feel insecure about your work or uh, I feel like that was more at the beginning. Beginning, yeah. But like you know there'll be some people going there with attitudes or whatever. <laughs> but I feel like me, I don't deal with it. Like I'm yeah, like oh don't. like I had this yeah. one client. She she came in and sat down with her arms crossed. And I was like, you know, greeting her, like, yeah, hey, yeah. you know, what is it that you wanted today? She was like, my nails, like, Just, like oh. obviously. And I'm like, Damn girl. Bitch. <laughs> and I was like, I said, hold on one second. I, I went to my boss or whatever, mm -hmm. and I was like, you could pass it on to somebody else because <laughs> I'm in a good mood. Okay, yeah. And I'm not, she's not going to mess my mood up or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And then I was like, excuse me. I was like, yeah, they're going to go ahead and take care of you because. Dang. For sure. So I feel like I don't deal with it. She don't take. She Usually, don't take no shit. No. I'm like that at my regular. You know, I have a regular job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my boss loves it. <laughs> I know. So yeah, mine too loves because it. yeah. Because <laughs> them with their clients, they're more like pleasing them. Like, right. oh, what is it that we're doing yeah. wrong? What What can I fix? And yeah. they look at me and and they'll start like laughing because they're like, damn, like she gets to it. Like I be like, okay. Like I think that should. Up. I think that that should be lateral in any industry mm -hmm. that you're in, yeah. whether yeah. you're an entrepreneur or even at your job. You shouldn't have to tolerate disrespect from nobody. I'm scared, at all. You can re I, refuse a service. No, oh, yeah. absolutely. Mm -hmm. I, I, I'm the same way. Like when I get booked for hostings, you know, I like a structure. I like an organization, and mm -hmm. I won't be disrespected. There's, yeah. 
only been yeah. one time. And so, <laughs> and, you know, I've been in but, situations. But I mean, you will yeah. have those. Oh, yeah. You'll have those moments. Yeah. But even even like at my regular nine to five, if somebody's acting out of line or disrespecting the staff that I work with, I don't tolerate that. We're not dealing with that. Yeah. We're moving on. You go over there and throw a fucking fit and we're moving on. Yeah. All right. Like, that's it. This is what we're doing. You know? And so um, do you guys get nervous about, I mean, because obviously with building the business, you're going to have to hire people to work yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So do you get nervous about who you're hiring? Do you guys have a pretty good selection of who you think you're going to well, incorporate in the business? Or? Well, I, me, I feel like I want to open it first mm -hmm. and then, you know, like take pictures or whatever, how it yeah. looks. And then mm -hmm. I don't want to get it. nobody now because I don't want to, you know, promise something like a date or whatever. Oh, I see. I see. Because, you know, opening it, the city it has made it hard to work. Oh, like, have they? Okay. Yeah, they have. But we're, yeah. we're supposed to open, there. you know, like a month or two ago. But I feel yeah. like the city is just... So strict. That's it, not the first time I've heard that. I feel like yeah. when it comes to small businesses, mm -hmm. they don't give a shit. When it comes to big corps, they're like, oh, yeah, we they're definitely got to we gotta deal with them before I, we deal I'm with not going to say which business because I don't know if he wants me putting his business out there like that. But a business that I am very close with and somebody who is a good friend of mine, um, he was trying to open at a building. Yeah. <laughs> and he did say that the city made it very very difficult yeah, for him they, that they it was always something but uh, yeah. i feel like my husband's been a good help because you know yeah. he's a barber so he has all the connections yeah yeah and shout out to next generation yeah yeah shout out to the next yes, generation they they, they're growing. all so kind yes. yes i did try to slide in cold dms that one night <laughs> <laughs> he gives me the vibes sometimes i saw him at a party recently i said you know i've been i was drunk and i told him i was gonna try and sleep with him and i don't know how he took that but you know <laughs> Apparently there was a whole fight about me afterwards. And yeah, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, you know, Cole. You know. <laughs> he's a whole nother. He's, he's crazy. He's, he's alive. He's a yeah, different. He yeah. Cause shout out to Cole. You know, can I just shout out to Cole real quick? <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. You know, he's, he has been wanting to come on the show, and I, I invite people on the show when the time is right. Mm -hmm. I don't think the time is right, Cole. One day the time will be right. But every time I see him, it's like some shit. And uh -huh. he even he'll ask me like the most off the wall questions. <laughs> And I'm just like, I saw him at an event. He goes, do you only invite people that are on, from South Waco? And like, I was like, what no, does that even good. mean? Like, yeah, no. Crazy. Like, tomorrow's guest is from East Waco. What are you talking about? <laughs> I'm not even from South Waco. Like, what are you talking about? Uh, he's crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's kept, but in a cute way. Yeah, for sure. No, okay. So, so yeah. So, the plan is, sorry. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Next Generation. And shout, again, shout out to your husband. Because I will say, every interaction that we've had, um, even if it was for a brief moment, he's always been very kind with me. He really yes, has yes, always yes, been yes. very kind with me. Um, so you guys are going to open Beauty Bliss first and go a little while without employees. Um, what are your tactics in hiring employees? Well, so when we open, mm -hmm. um, I do have a few people in mind. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll reach out to them to see if they're still down yeah. or whatever. And then, um, yeah, but I just want, you know, people that are, they have their stuff together. For sure. Mm -hmm. um, do you have, no drama. Do you have no. friends that might think they automatically have a position? Because sometimes I think it, it'll be hard to work with friends. You know what I mean? Like, Well, I don't really have friends, so. <laughs> Are you I'm, one of those? I'm, I'm her best friend. <laughs> okay. I do have one yeah. main best friend yeah. Yeah. that I love so much. Shout out to her. Yes. Her name is Gabriella. Gabriella. Yes, but that's a whole So, so you're not necessarily, because, yeah. you know, I think that when people, oh, like, it's so crazy. Like, you should have seen when the public affair popped off how many best friends I had during, especially during fucking fair season. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Or even when I was in the radio, it was like, hey, remember me from five years ago when we slept together? And I was like, oh. <laughs> and so, you know, so I wonder if you ladies are, are cautious or preemptive about the fact that, you know, there's some people who are going to try yeah. and ride your coattails. You know what I yeah. mean? It happens all the time in business and how you'll I mean, um, but proceed with that. Whoever we do have there, like, you know, they'll be them or whatever and we'll learn. Yeah. You know, they might come it. and go. Right. But, I mean, it's just going to be a learning experience. Yeah. It's yeah. just she's, the beginning. She's more of the, um, so. like, no new friends type of deal. Okay. I like making friends. Yeah. And yeah, I like, wouldn't consider all of them, like, my best friend. Right, right. But I love being friendly to women yeah, so that she's more are like successful. Social. Yeah, I'm see. more yeah. of who I already have that's I'm okay. good with. So, like, if, like, for instance, after the show, I'm like, let's go have mimosas. I'm over there texting it. Bitch, let's go have mimosas yeah. to all my friends, <laughs> to your you know? Friends. Yeah. yeah, for sure. No, I got you. No, I, you know, I just think that we're at an age, too. Like, it, it kind of bothers me, that, you know, if that's how you feel. You know what I mean? But I wish that we weren't in that mindset where mm -hmm. it was like, I don't have, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like friend. well, and in the same respect, friendships are a sacred thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and I'll, I have, I'll tell you, I have friends to this day that it was hard to chip that wall down from them because they had been betrayed by their past friends. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I, I you know, well, I'll, I have like a lot of like outsider friends, like, yeah. you know, just high by type thing. But so like, for sure. French, whenever you say friends, mm -hmm. I'm 
it goes deep with me. It goes deep, absolutely. I agree. I'm at that stage. No, but I am at that stage too, though. I don't know. I guess I'm just friendly. But I mean, I'm friendly. friendly. So me doing nails, it kind of opened me up Uh because I wasn't a social person. And me doing nails, it has me um, meeting new people, interacting with new people, getting to know a lot of people. So I do have a lot of clients that I consider friends. Most definitely. Okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah, I think that me and my barber said, you know, we're friends now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he used to let me get drunk on his chair, and yeah. then he said, "Stop drinking on my chair." And I said, "I bet." <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Okay, so, um, I, you know what? Real quick, Ashley, people were taking screenshots of the vaginas that you post. <laughs> yes, what? And that's actual, all I see whenever I yes, on Instagram. I mean, that's all I see too. But we're not showing full <laughs> yes. vaginas. It's just like I guess we'll just call it vag, right? And so I, I guess I just never would have thought, like, while I thought it was out of the box that you yeah. were posting the vaginas, and I do remember um, hearing you in class one time uh, when we were training that uh-huh. you had a bunch of vaginas in your phone. Yeah. Which, which I have zero <laughs> vaginas on my phone. But, <laughs> but, um, but so people were screenshotting your vagina? Like, how I did had, you I oh, had yeah. one, yes. Okay. Um, so I have my, my public profile right. on Snap and then my private, of course. Okay. So, of course, my public. I like putting anything on my business. Well, it's still your work too, though. Mm-hmm. You have to show that you can shave a good vagina. She yeah. recently made a video of like her waxing the whole thing or whatever, yeah. and it was actually satisfying. Like uh, it didn't show it fully. I got but, a lot yeah. of views on that on TikTok. Yeah, but yeah, it's just some weirdos out there. There's weirdos. So I just I want them to respect it. Like, look at it. You can look at it all you want. Right, but why right. are you screenshotting? That's weird. Yeah. Well, especially. I mean, if unless you're not showing, yeah. you know, like I don't know, like maybe and see that's the difference between me and her. I see goodness out of people so i'm like maybe they screenshotted it to show their wife i'm like hey you should get your vagina wax actually that's this. not that's not why they showed it. that's not why they screenshotted it <laughs> does that make you cautious now uh, about posting no vajay no, shows or love, you just did your thing yeah whoever's down i'm yeah. down i love it because that's what bo- these past three years brought me my clientele they right. love to see me work and the they main thing that's gonna make her Post yeah, I see. I see. Yes. I think with guys, it would be weird though, now that I'm thinking about it because they're like, I, you know, we talked a little bit about I couldn't get into it fully with Alex, right? Because you know, it's more we prayed at the end, yeah. and so, <laughs> which shout I love. Her. Shout out to, I shout love out to I love Alex. I shout out to her, <laughs> but uh, you know, I, I think with vaginas, right? For the most part, they all look the same for the, for the most part. I mean, I mean, I, mean you know, <laughs> no, I don't know. I think with penises, though, because everybody has different size, but penises. that's like the vagina. Is that right? Yeah. Do you have different size vaginas? Different size of different colors. Wait, no, how does that work? Yeah. Like, different. No, I'm, I'm confused. <laughs> like lips Ace, different. you know, I've never been down there. Like, I've, I've not. I'm a gold star. I'm going to have like, to tag so, you in yes. this post of all kinds of there's vaginas. There, are you talking about, like, the lips and shit? Yeah, like, it's so all they different. All, so there's some roast beef and then there's some <laughs> ham and cheese. Like, okay. And they're all I, I beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> in their own so way. Wait, in wait, their own way. Wait, wait, wait. Are you sometimes like this and then sometimes... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'll be asking her, hey, can you do a little design or something? Yeah. No, but <laughs> I feel... Okay, so... She was like, you don't have to go to your man for that. It's cute because I think that if you did do guys, right, I don't mm-hmm. think you would get a lot of guy clients because, yo, men be talking some shit, right? Like yeah. some guys be like yeah man i'm hung like a horse and then like when i'm about to do it with them they're like i can't roll that big like yeah, <laughs> you know and i'm just like i mean that's okay we'll, we'll make it work you yeah, know what i mean yeah. so i think it would be weird with dudes don't you it's think like tucked in yeah. or tucked out <laughs> but i think <laughs> with, with men we probably wouldn't sh- just like the girls like we'll hide the whole thing and just the top yeah area. but like how would we do that though we just like in between the legs just just the top area oh okay you know what i mean I yeah just... I, but i don't know that i know that because i do have this girl on um, uh-huh. i can't think of her name but she does work out in dallas she does do manzillion yeah yeah so when she posts um it's not showing that it's just showing the top area so you can't really see. Mm. So there the are men to get like waxes mm-hmm. and stuff. I've had Girl. I've had men call me. Yeah, let me tell you, I shave. Like I'm. You need to go to waxing. I do need to go to waxing, but I'm like like smooth. Like I don't I don't like all that extra yeah. shit. I know that's TMI. I'm sorry, guys, but like <laughs> no, I'm being serious. I know guys yeah. like to trim. No, let's yeah. be for real. Some guys like to trim. Yeah. Some guys like to let it just bush out. I don't. Want I've all had that a shit. client. Yeah. I've had a client honestly ask me. She's been getting waxed by me for mm-hmm. a long time. If I would wax her husband because she heard that sex is better. I, I mean, I I will say, as, as just in the gay perspective, <laughs> I've been with dudes that have they are fully shaven. I've been with dudes that are trimmed, and I've been with dudes that it's, Bam. Just, it's just all over the fucking place. And I will say, I don't prefer it being all over the fucking yeah. place. I don't. I can't speak for the women. I don't know women. What do you What do you guys think? You guys are women. You'd be like, you'd be like. <laughs> it's fucking bad. Yeah. It's, it, no, honestly. It's like I've been a, trying yeah. to convince my husband to let me wax him. Okay. So hopefully he'll let me. He's what? like, fuck that shit. I see the videos yeah. of the women. Him, you should let him. What? 
I don't, I don't want to put y'all's man business out there. Yeah, I'm, not, yeah. I'm not gonna ask that question. But no, like as a woman though, okay, let's just say as a woman, what, yeah. what is a woman's preference? Do you think like I don't care. You don't give a shit. You do. I, I, I had it like always. I, I mean, yeah, because yeah. like, well, I've I've heard that. Um, I, I mean, one of my other friends, um, she doesn't look her anymore, but she said that some guys, even like with girls and and their hair, some guys like the hair because some it shows maturity. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some guys don't want the hair there mm-hmm. at all, and with guys too, I've heard girls and and obviously gays like me. You know, um, I prefer it where it's just not all out there and bushy as fuck. Like, what are you doing? Like, clean it up a little bit. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, just do that. But then some people want it. Where you have to be like this and shit, like you know, like I don't. That's you gotta go weird. search. Yeah, you gotta go search. Like, especially when it's like a construction worker. It's like this. Yeah. It's like okay, what are we oh doing? Oh my god! Like, what are we doing? Oh god! I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Let's not answer that. Okay, yeah. so so listen, um, Beauty Bliss is opening up. Do we have a target date, or are we still soon? So, so, okay. Just like I said, just with the be city. on the lookout. Be yes. on the lookout. We're gonna post it. Um, like I said, we're gonna have a. Grand opening. Mm. We're gonna have giveaways, promotions, yes. Yes. Um, discounts. Do you have any fears of going into business? I don't. I'm more of a, like, I take it day by day. Okay. And whatever yeah. life throws at me, she's I'm, not a stressful I'm, person like I am. I don't. I, <laughs> I'm, I'm, really, I'm like, that's oh good. God, You're the yin to her yang. yang. That's that is. <laughs> so I feel like my husband, he he be more stressing and stuff, and I'm just like sitting back, chilling, like, just yeah. chilling. Like, but that's good too because your your husband does own a successful barbershop. He does. And, and so you know you can get advice from him. He didn't he didn't do that by yeah. laying on his back and or then, being an idiot. And he's like, he's also helping a lot with Beauty Bliss. He is invested he? a lot. He's. That's uh, good. Yes, he's really supportive of it and everything. So I love that. Shout out to him. Shout out to him. If we, it wasn't for him, I, I don't think I would have all the connects right then and yeah. there. Yeah. And the way he talks to people professionally, you know what I'm saying? Yes. I'm like, okay. Will you yeah. please tell Ulysses to come on the public affair now? Tell he him heard, that it's not he that He heard bad. you. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell him, hey, I did the show. It wasn't that bad, Ulysses. It was good. It was it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. This, and, and Ashley, so, I mean, you're like me. We're more anxious. We I, we, we think about the negative um, a lot. Yeah. And, well, not necessarily the negative. Mm-hmm. I'm just an overthinker. Okay. I think too much about two months from now instead yeah. of just living day by day. But that's what makes me me and makes yeah, me grind sure. hard and have my P's and Q's on point. For sure. I'm overthinking. I'm, I'm I feel like I'm very person. organized too, though, when it comes that's to stuff. Good. So mm-hmm. I guess that's why I don't really stress as much okay. because I'm organized with my stuff more together yeah. for sure yeah, and I'm a, yeah I'm but a clean see freak, her so. but her and your lists are like last minute like hey bitch let's go to san antonio i'm like wait wait okay, what bitch, like in two hours like <laughs> I, on, and bitch. see me always on the and go. me me we'll be here no. we'll be somewhere else the next no day. and me i'm, I'm no. like i need to plan. let's get a hotel <laughs> yes a month in advance because it's cheaper <laughs> I'm with for you. one absolutely oh, and what yes. are we gonna okay. do do we have itinerary like well, where we're gonna go uh, hold on in that aspect <laughs> do your thing okay i went to vegas with five fucking men Oh. And I was like, this ain't the fucking tea. We pulled up at the fucking travel lodge, bitch. Oh, yeah. Can we th- shout out tomorrow and, <laughs> and Joe and fucking Fonse, Berto, and Aaron, bitch. Can I tell y'all something real quick? Because now I'm drunk. <laughs> These niggas had me drive to Las Vegas uh-uh. 20 hours. Just you? Don't, don't, no, I mean, we were all driving yeah. together. Well, no, two like, separate cars. Turns? No, yeah, we did. We did. We oh, took okay. turns. We t- drove six hours apiece. Don't let a man plan shit, right? Oh, yeah. And so they gonna show up and be like, all right, what's we, next? We pulled <laughs> up. We pulled up to Vegas a day early, so there was no hotel. Oh, yeah, and then no. the hotel that was booked, it wasn't like you he know. He was probably thinking you don't sleep in Vegas. I sleep in Vegas. <laughs> Okay, because Vegas, like to me, is overrated. Yeah. I only went because I was like invited. And so we pull up. And it's not like the Excalibur. It's not the New York, New York. Like Motel 6? It's, it's the fucking travel lodge in the fucking corner in the alley somewhere. Damn it. Oh, no. Like, hood as fuck. And I was like, y'all have got to be fucking kidding me right now. We had a good time. And I loved the trip. But I was like, y'all ain't allowed to plan shit no, no more. We could have sit across the street at the nice hotel yeah. for probably the same fucking price. <laughs> and then we're there a day early. I was like, just take my fucking credit card. I'll pay for it. I don't give a fuck. I, I just went and we walked in the room and it was one pillow. I was pissed. I was <laughs> So pissed. I was like, just go yeah. to bed. Yeah. yeah, I'm I'm a planner. And that's why and we it, plan. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I'm a stressor. So. Yeah. Well, listen, I do hope that nonetheless that business goes well for you, ladies. I mean, obviously, Thank you both you. have good heads on your shoulders and you both seem to be very business orientated, I will say, in speaking for you, because we have known each other for a long time mm-hmm. and you were on the show before. And I just want to congratulate you, Ashley, like on all the successes since you've been Thank on the you. public affair when Thank I met you, you la- when I met you in the last three years, because I watch the show now. Or excuse me, I watched it last night mm-hmm. and then I, I see you now and you just seem like an evolved woman. Mm-hmm. You really do. And you didn't let your circumstances define your future. And I'm just so proud of you. And Ace, I mean, I, 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 I'm just 
glad to meet you. I never thought we'd I'd have you on the show. Right? <laughs> she she made it sound like you were shy and everything, but <laughs> but you, you I think that you guys do make a very good partnership, and I do think that you guys are going to be very successful in beauty yes. bliss. So big shout it's out to go both well. of you. Yes, I'm excited. And, is there anything that you guys can leave us with before we go? Oh uh, yeah, because uh, you know you brought up my tattoos. A lot of people ask me where I get them. Oh yeah yeah. Um, Johnny Hernandez and Adam Oliveira do all my oh. tattoos. I always get like inboxes on my. TikTok about okay, got gotcha. you. Yeah, so and they're always all colored. They're so good. Yeah, I think I asked Adam Alvarez to come on the show. Will you yeah. tell him to come on the show too? I'll tell him. The next tell him I won't I sleep with him. I won't sleep with him. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to sleep with these dudes no more. I'm telling you guys, I'm a changed man. Yeah. Okay, I'll let him know. I uh, please let him know. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so yes. I was actually thinking about hitting him up. I do want one soon. Do you really? Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. I told I told my best friend Mara that I do want to get my first tattoo. Do you have Maybe any? Can... I don't. What? No. I don't have any tattoos, but you know what I'm obsessed with? Hand tattoos. Really? Oh. I am. Obs- I would love like a lotus flower because yeah. it defines like rebirth. Mm-hmm. And and I what feel like what made you with- want to get one like now? Um, I don't know. I just why haven't you got one? Yeah. Okay, so I Are didn't get one because when you put something on your body, it's for permanent. Like, permanent. Yeah. And and so it's True. like I said, I would never smoke before, but with my best friend and our and our friend Dominic, you know, Mara and Dominic, I had my first cigar. Oh. You know what I mean? So that was different. You know what yeah. I mean? I mean, I'm not, no, I'm not smoking weed or cigarettes now. Get that shit yeah. away from me. Okay. But, um, you know, when I think of a tattoo, I've always liked the aesthetic of tattoos. I think that when you do tattoos like yours, they look mm-hmm. gorgeous. Yours obviously has like a plan on it. You know yeah. what I mean? And yeah. I look at uh, my brother Marlon's tattoos and he has really good tattoos. They're not just like random ass tattoos everywhere. There's like a, a structure on mm-hmm. it. Mm-hmm. And so when I put something on my body, I don't want it to be just like random yeah. shit. You know what I mean? And so when I think, okay, what would my first tattoo be? The lotus flower represents rebirth. And I feel like with the public affair, I was rebirth. I became a whole different person. You know what I mean? And so that's what that symbolizes. And then maybe like put the public affair below it. You know what I mean? That's what tattoos are about. You got to really like think about it. Symbolize. Yeah. Now, I don't want like, you know, people. I I think it's weird. Like when I slept with somebody and then they have like faces on their body. Like (laughs) I feel like they're watching me. I'm like, okay. I know. So so that's weird to me. But you know, like, you know. I told my tattoo artist, I was like, I really want portraits of my kids. And he's like, where the fuck you going to put all? Uh, no. I have a lot of kids. Yeah, okay. <laughs> like you right. Just Never don't put mind. them on your titties, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, chest is yes. off limits. Well, listen, both of you guys, thank you so much for coming on to the public affair. I had such a good time with you ladies. Um, how can we follow your can we follow your social medias in case we need any nails? Uh yeah, yeah. Shell's done. How can we follow you guys? So for Instagram is Ace Beauty Bliss. And I, I'm more on Instagram. Okay. Yeah. I'm I'm old on Facebook. Go ahead. <laughs> Mine, um, my Instagram is Beauty Boss underscore underscore aesthetic. Aesthetic. Right? Yeah. Right <laughs> Don't follow my hacked one. It got hacked last year on New Shit, Year's. Oh my you. god. <laughs> I'm wearing pink. The new one, I'm half scrubs on. Um, and then my TikTok is uh, Beauty Boss Aesthetics. Yeah. So make sure you guys go follow these ladies. Um, shout out to Beauty Bliss that's coming out here in the near future. Hopefully when the city gets their shots together. Yes. <laughs> and make sure you guys go check them out as well. Um, to uh, Ashley Ace, thank you guys again so much for coming thank on to you, the public affair. You. you know what? We got time to, for some mimosas before this because my hosting's in another hour. So we're good. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. So uh, make sure you guys, um, thank you again so much. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe this episode. Um, we've got more of the public affair on the way. I've got some really, really exciting episodes coming up. And my last, I actually booked my last episode of the year that i'm excited 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 to put out and i just i hope that you guys are really receptive of it yeah we've been planning it for all year so Mm -hmm. it's not frankie j but you know know, but it's the next best thing and i'm so excited so thank you guys again so much for all the love and support before we go i definitely want to use this opportunity to give a shout out to just a few of our sponsors of this episode of the public affair this episode is brought to us by soko soccer academy with dominic gutierrez and ariana gutierrez located at 3304 franklin avenue they offer team small group and individual skills training with elite skills training to make your kids superb star athletes with professionals like george de leon the public affair is also a very 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 proud sponsor of the soko soccer teams coached by my brother mauro maldonado who is an amazing ace coach that is taking your kids to championships and teaching them discipline both on and off the field. I'm so blessed to be a part of that to my brother. Thank you so much for letting me do that. And of course, to Dominic and Ariana, thank you guys so much for all your support of the public affair. Of course, to my girl, Ana Limones with Hummingbird Party Backdrops and Decor. Listen, if you guys need some decorations, hit up my girl, Ana Limones. Hit up my girl, Ana Limones with the, the backdrops, the balloons, everything. I'm telling you guys, impeccable work. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Make sure you call the number on the screen to book now for all party decorations, including beautiful balloon props, 
giving an extra flair to your party or event or grand opening. Yeah. So my girl, Ana Limones, thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. Of course, the Jesus Sanchez with Brothers Roofing and Remodeling. He's kind of hot. He's from Mart. He's a small construction business from Mart, Texas, specializing in general roofing needs and so much more. Protect your home from the crazy element. You know, sometimes it'd be hot. Sometimes a fucking tornado comes. You know, then it's cold. You never know. Listen, get your roofs inspected with Brothers Roofing and Remodeling amongst a plethora of other services. Follow on Facebook and call the number on the screen to Jesus Sanchez. Thank you so much for sponsoring this episode of The Public Affair. And of course, I'm not going to go on without thanking my boy, Jeffrey Monreal, home boy of box and audio, who I love. He always pimps my ride. He always gives me the super dark tint. Okay, and he gives me the star, the starlights and everything. Home for all your LED needs and auto accessories, installation of stereos, door speakers, and audio systems. He also specializes in building custom subwoofer enclosures and so much more. Jack of all trade and your one-stop shop to get everything done in one roof. To Jeffrey Monreal, thank you so much for all you do for me and the public affair. I truly, truly appreciate you. To everybody that tuned into this episode, thank you guys again so much. Ace, Ashley, Queens. Queens, 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 and I'm so proud of both of you. You guys, best of luck to everything that you guys have going on in the future, and I cannot wait to go to your grand opening for Beauty Bliss. I'm so excited for you both. And you know what? We're going to go ahead and um, fill up our mimosas, okay, because we're a little bit dry. I've got my hosting for the cutest vaquero contest here in like an hour, but don't forget to always keep it between us. <laughs>